How's it going? Dave from Comic Book Investments. So in this video, we're going to look at five keys that are dropping in price. And some of them by quite a lot, 90%. But one of these on this list is actually a Silver Age, and it's dropped by like almost 90% as well. And I was like, that's really odd for a Silver Age to drop that much. So I was, most of the time, Silver Age is anywhere between like 50, 60%. Sometimes you see a 70%, but never in, never in like the high 80s. That's a never happens so very odd for that one so we'll get it to that one before i do go over to collectorscomics.com we have an auction going on it ends next week uh actually on friday so basically five days from now uh tons of good stuff fans 15 hulk 181s all sorts of stuff go over check it over check it out we also got a giveaway uh so let's get in the video first we got moon knight number 25 first appearance of black specter a 9.4 is down 56 percent from 288 a 9.6 down 72% from 385, and a 9.8 down 83% from 1400. Now selling for 235. Uh, yeah, this book should never should have hit 1400. Never. Uh, a book like this should never have been 1400 to begin with. That was just crazy. I don't know why someone paid that much for this book. Um, it's down to 235. The last six months or so has been pretty much flat. A little more than maybe nine months. Pretty much flat. Uh, my, I feel like this book is worth, it'll probably, I could see this book hitting a low of 150, uh, maybe, uh, over the next like three to six months. I think that's going to be its lowest point for the comic book market in general. Uh, as a whole, this book probably will sit around the, unless something crazy happens with this character, this book will probably sit around the. 170, 180 at the lows uh, up to like maybe 250. I think that's a year from now, that's where it's going to sit in that range. Uh, a 9.6, $85. Yeah, this book will be slightly above case cost for a 9.6. A 9.4, 88 bucks. That's no, uh, that's too high. Uh, case cost for a 9.4 in the future. This book is not going to, I would not say this is an investment book. Not every book is an investment book. I mean, sure, something happens to the character, I guess. Uh, but Realistically, this book will probably just sit around, you know, high hundreds to 250 in a 9.8 for a long, long time. Maybe in 10 years, it hits like a 350 mark. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just going to kind of sit around there. All right, next we got Tales of Teen Titans 44, first appearance of Nightwing. 9.4 down 65% from 297 to 102. A 9.6 down 65% from 390 to 136. And a 9.8 down 58% uh, from 850 to 355. Um, yeah, it's been dropping recently. I, I think it can still drop a little more. This will probably hit around 250 mark and it'll hover around there for a while. Uh, this book has a little more legs, I think, in the future than the previous Moon Knight book. Uh, will it get to 850? Not for, if it does, not for a very, very long time. I can see this dropping at some point down to like 250 because it's almost back to where it was pre-comic boom, which is around the 250 mark. And I can see it just sitting there for a while and then just slowly going up in time um, as time goes on. Next, we got Ghost Rider number 28, first appearance, Midnight Suns, 9.4 down 76% from 138 to 32, a 9.6 down 88% from 200 to 24, and a 9.8 down 89% from 550 to $63. Uh, whoever paid $500 for this, and there's probably a couple sales around that part, it's way too much for this book, way too much for this book. Think about this. Midnight Suns, it's like a group. It's not like the first appearance of Ghost Rider or anything like that. It's just a group. Um, the only reason it got started going up is because they made a video game or something like that. Um, yeah, I don't. I think the game came out. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't heard much from it. But there's no way this book should be worth five fifty. It is a modern book, and modern books. There's lots that are in this this grade range, especially this during this time at Marvel. They printed a ton. There's nothing special enough for it to be 550. Uh, I don't know, and it's been dropping ever since for the last like six to nine months, almost a year. It's been this pretty much only dropped by like 10 percent because it pretty much went up and started going down almost immediately after. This book will always be so to me. This book, like if you did Ghost Rider, like 25, 24, 22, all that kind of stuff, case cost for a 98, and it will always be that. Uh, case costs about 50 bucks when it takes to ship it there, ship it back, get it graded from CGC. 
roughly about 50 bucks. That's what the, the a lot of books are just going to relegate down to case costs. A lot of books, especially in the modern age. Um, and this book has a slight increase above that. So I could see this if a case costs around 50, I could see this book hovering around to 60, $80. Sure. Uh, next three to six months I could see, or the next year I could see, you know, randomly going in auction and selling for like $35 or $40 for a nine, eight, um, nine, six, $24. That seems about right. It should be like slightly under case cost anywhere from like 25 to $40, uh, a nine, four, not even worth your time. Just buy it raw. Like, I guess if you can get one like super cheap, um, but yeah, I, I, I could totally see this book. This book is gonna sit around like the 60 to $80 mark. Maybe you have a buy in now at a 9.8, there's not that many up for sale and someone buys it for like $99. But for the next 10 years, this book is maybe, maybe in 10 years time, it'll be a 125 to $150 book. But it, no, it's, this book is gonna be slightly above case cost. All right, next we got Thor 165, first full appearance of Adam Warlock. 5.0 down 82%, 810 to 146. A 7.5 down 86% from 1900 to about 260. And a 9.0 down 84% from 5,500 to $884. Man, this book has dropped a lot. It got a lot of hype from the Guardians movie. People thought Adam Warlock is going to be the next big thing. And he's probably the worst new character in Guardians 3. Um, and also the comic boom helped it a little bit too. So, but yeah, it, I, I haven't really seen a Silver Age book drop by this much, especially like an actual key associated with it. You know, first of all, Adam Warlock, this is, I guess, a pretty big key in the Thor, you know, run, uh, probably from like 126 up. It's one of the biggest, probably in the top five uh, of all Thor keys. Um, yeah, so it's, to see it drop by this much, it's to me, it's below what it was prior to 2021, uh, it's an overcorrection. I'm doing a video on that later that we're in a bit of an overcorrection uh, right now. I can see this book. So say, say we take the 9.0, it's about 84. I could see this book selling for like the high sixes in the next six months, uh, selling for like 675, 690 or something like that in a random auction. But I think that will be the lowest it'll ever be. It probably will sit around like the 750 mark and then over time it will rebound and start going up it will not hit that 5500 never again um i don't know maybe 20 30 years down the road but this book is i still think like an investable book unlike some of the other ones i mentioned uh it still will drop because i think we're overcorrecting. uh but eventually it will start going back up so this has dropped in my opinion too much so if you could, if you were looking for a book like this, I think now is like a perfect time to pick up this book and, you know, over time it will, it will gain, it will gain. So I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, yeah, I think in the next six months, since we're in an overcorrection that you could probably pick up one cheaper than the 884. Don't expect this to go to 5,500. I don't know, does it expect like a, a nice steady, like small return on this, like steady incline over time, uh, but not much. Um, unless something happens, you know, but yeah, I think we're in an overcorrection for this book. All right. Last is we have Iron Man and Submariner number one, a 5.0 down 64% for 327 to 118, a 7.5 down 62% from 800 to 305, and a 9.0 down 78% from 2100 to now selling about 450. So compared to the other one, these are the exact same grades. And instead of like 80, 85%, it's, you know, in the 60 and this one's like 78%, it's a bit much, but that's kind of where I would see like a Silver Age book, somewhere around there, not like in the high 80s. Um, it's still above what it was pre-Comic Boom. I could see, still see this book dropping a little bit more. Um, long term, it'll drop a little bit more, but then it'll just kind of stabilize. It, this, like, here's the thing, this book, it doesn't have too much going for it. Predates uh, Iron Man one, I know that, but still, it's kind of like this one shot. It's not part of a run. It will. I could see this dropping like a slightly a bit more, um, but if you look at the levels, it's still above what it was comic boom, and it'll drop a little bit more, and then we'll come out of the curve. Right, we're going like this. Like here's the line, 
we're down in here for the next like six to nine months we'll be in this like this is where it should be like if you go through time this is like the range it should be you know jumping along this thing and right now we're too low and and we're getting to get lower and it'll go right back up so if you can pick up this book i think it'll be fine in the next like three to six months that's probably gonna be low so you'll get this book and it'll just have steady growth over time uh nothing crazy uh it jumping up to 2100 was way ridiculous just look at the past like 20 years it's just been a steady incline of like you know gaining a few percentage every year so that's it check out our website collectorscomics.com have a good day